It was a successful weekend in Bulldog country as all teams competing went a combined eight and one. So let's dive right into it. Friday night, All-American Scotty Perunovic displayed his patience scoring the game's second goal. Perunovic waits, 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 and finally releases a laser of a wrist shot that finds its way through the massive bodies in front of the net. Later in the game, Justin Richards receives a lead pass flying into the zone and just sneaks one by Jeremy Swayman for his first collegiate goal as a Bulldog. Richards finished the weekend with two points and a plus one overall rating. Hunter Shepard came up big with a few key saves this weekend, including the sprawling point-blank save on Friday. Shepard stopped 34 of the 38 shots he faced this weekend. Moving on to Saturday's game, Scotty Perunovic sends a cross-ice pass to Riley Tufty, who unleashes an absolute missile, scoring the game's first goal just two minutes and 50 seconds in. Watch here as a loose puck ends up on rookie Cole Kepke's stick for the rarely used turnaround slapper. Kepke registered his first collegiate goal with the tally. UMD heads to South Bend, Indiana this weekend for a rematch of last year's NCAA National Championship game with Notre Dame. Keeping things at Amsoil, the women's team swept Bemidji State this weekend in a WCHA series showdown. Jalen Elms got things started with this snapshot from the point that just sneaks through. Sophomore forward Naomi Rogi secured WCHA Player of the Week honors with her four goal, one assist weekend, including this strike right here with 0.1 seconds left remaining in regulation on Friday. The Bulldogs take a quick two and a half hour road trip to St. Cloud this weekend, take on the Huskies. UMD football extended their perfect record to 8-0 last weekend with their 37-17 victory over Winona State. And this seven-yard scoop and score by Mitchell Johnson-Martin helped secure win number eight. It is Johnson-Martin's second fumbled recovery for a touchdown in as many weeks. Now check this out. Redshirt freshman Wade Sullivan takes the snap, pitches it off to Nate Ritchie who scrambles to stay out of trouble and finds QB Mike Rabarczyk in the end zone for the touchdown. D lineman Chris McGrady Wiley comes in basically unimpeded to block the Warrior punt and they call him down at the one yard line. The block punt set up this one yard touchdown run by Zach Ogile the very next play putting the game on ice. UMD soccer has now won four straight at home with a two to one victory over Southwest Minnesota State and a one to nothing victory over Sioux Falls this past weekend. Senior midfielder Madison Carey collected both goals in the two to one besting of the Mustangs on senior night. Junior midfielder Nan Glinsick scored the match's only goal on Friday and secured her team leading fourth goal. The model of consistency continues for the UMD Volleyball Club. The number seven Bulldogs clinched its 20th win this past Friday in a 3-0 sweep over Minnesota State. UMD has won at least 20 matches in each of its last 17 years, all under head coach Jim Boos. Junior middle blocker Abby Thor had a career night in the win. Thor notched a collegiate best 15 kills to go with four blocks. UMD took home top honors at the Bob Waxlax Invitational Friday afternoon at the Wapakata Golf Course in Sauk Rapids, Minnesota. UMD was led individually by sophomore Gabriella Brinkley, who finished 6 out of 79 runners with a 6,000 meter time of 23 minutes and 16.6 seconds. The men took second out of the three team field with a team score of 41 points. The Bulldogs top finisher was Braden Kubat who placed 5th out of the 45 man field running the 8,000 meter course in 26 minutes and 44.8 seconds. For all your Bulldog highlights and recap, make sure to check back in here every week. For UMD Athletics, I'm Austin Rush.